John, please explain to me what free soloing is. Your friends say you've always been afraid of heights. Yet they also share this post with me from local climbers reporting a man running up cliff faces around town. Have you ever tried to hurt yourself? Please, John. If you can, I'd like an answer now. Have you ever contemplated suicide? John. You're in mandated therapy. What happened? Do you want to die? I mean, you're up hundreds of feet on a rock face. No ropes, no safety. Don't you ever panic? <laughs> that's a fair question. Honestly, no, that's kind of the opposite of how you should behave when you're free soloing. You should be calm. It's almost meditative. You should be thinking about nothing but the rock climb. And if you're not, then you probably shouldn't be free soloing. So do people ever free solo for the wrong reasons? Yeah, that has happened. Honestly, that's when things get pretty horrific. People are in the wrong mindset. And historically, a lot of climbers have sold out of sadness. I mean, hell, even Alex Hong has sold out of rainbow. John, it's mom again. I, uh, I need to talk to you. These photos are everywhere, John. This is what they sent me. Ah! What the hell is me, John? Why, so you can call me back in an hour? Cry for me to come back because you love, love me again? You. Oh, I never loved you. Fine, but I need you to respect Respect? Me. You never had respect for me or my things or this home. Listen. The solution isn't in what house we buy, what city you move to for the thousandth time. The problem's from within, Sarah. You're sick. I'm you need not therapy. sick, John. You know what I was going through. I needed you and you just left. I left because you were acting psychotic. I waited months, Sarah, but nothing changed. What you needed was professional help. No, what I needed was a man, not a pathetic child that doesn't care about anything or anybody but himself. Sarah, sure, I did I like everything for you? He died. I tried to be there. John, you didn't try. You left because you have no idea what sacrifice is. He died to get to me. There he is. Hey, you! 
wish you died instead of him. I wish I'd never met you. It's been 30 minutes, John. I'm going to need an answer now. Listen to music, because I can't stop the voices in my head. And I push whatever limits I have to, to make them go away. Do you know how much it hurts to have the person you love most hate you? Frankly, Makes me hate myself, too. Are you aware of the immediate thought that every single surviving jumper off the Golden Gate Bridge reports feeling? As their feet leave the ledge? Regret. They regret they'd ever jumped. So no, I'm not trying to commit suicide. It's a quitter's game. But yes, I am in pain. The method in which I choose to cope with that pain is my business. Not yours, not my family's, and not my employer's, but mine. So write whatever the hell you want in your pretty little Manila employee report and leave me the fuck alone. John? Do you want to die? with you. I wanted a life with you. Why are we doing this? We love each other. Are you sure we need to do this?
Hey, Mom. Oh, thank God. What's going on? Are you okay? No. I need help. 